Hi everybody, it's Mary Moibiel. This is going to be a very quick on the fly cosmic update. I just wanted to touch base. I'm currently in the parking lot of my um, husband's dentist appointment and it's just, there's so much going on with, with everyone um, and <laughs> I am not excluded from that. I'm having a hard time getting um, the time in my office um, and the energy to produce um, these videos with you know, the client work that I've been doing and stuff like that to just, you know, try to continue to survive <laughs> in this climate. So, um, I apologize for the kind of inconsistency on the cosmic update videos and my autistic astrologer page. Um, but that's just what you get when you work with me. And I hope that, <laughs> you know, you hang around, uh, for the good times and it comes in waves. Um, sometimes you'll get four and five videos in one week and sometimes you'll go two weeks and I won't get anything out. And that's just the way that I am as a being. So I appreciate you being here and, um, just kind of hanging out. So this is not going to be a regular cosmic update, obviously, like here we are just out on the fly. Um, but that's also what you get when you get me. So, <laughs> uh, might as well just introduce you to that now. So, um, there's a ton of, of stuff going on in the cosmos. And I think it's just important to remind people that if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling uneasy, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling like you can't stay grounded in this energy, if you're feeling scared because you don't know what's coming up, if you are, you know, unclear on your purpose and where you're going in life, you are not alone. Those themes are happening throughout almost everybody that I'm, you know, working with and coming in contact with. There's just a lot going on, a lot of shifting, a lot of changes, a lot of cycles coming to endings and cycles coming to beginnings. Um, when planets are in the beginning of signs, that is starting, um, you know, that's, that's starting cycles. And then when planets cross over each other, that's also starting cycles. So the sun is now moving into Aquarius today on the 19th, Tuesday, the 19th, the sun moves into Aquarius and that's going to now highlight and cross over all the planets that are in Aquarius right now. And that's going to include Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury. So Mercury is also in its shadow phase. So of retrograde, it goes into official retrograde on the 30th of this month. So at the end of this month, we enter the actual retrograde. But if you've listened to me about Mercury retrogrades, it's not just the retrograde, it's also the shadow period. So that has begun as well. So we are in Mercury shadow. So, you know, there's Mercury updates on my page. Um, I will also have a more like... <laughs> Uh, legitimate cosmic update for the end of January coming where we talk about like the actual transits and what the numbers are and how you can look it up on your chart and all the regular cosmic update stuff. This is just me getting on here and talking to you and telling you that I haven't forgotten about you. If you're feeling really like sporadic and fucked up right now, you're not alone. Um, and you know, I'm available in my office. It's just to make the videos takes a lot of energy and takes a lot of you know, prep work and, you know, it just takes a lot more energy. And when I don't have the resources, it's hard for me to get in there and do that stuff. But, um, I am going to get one out for the end of January for sure, because there's so much happening. Um, and I just feel like it's important to get that stuff out to you guys, um, so that you can utilize it in your journey. This is such an important time there's going to be opportunities in January to work with Chiron, the wounded healer, to work with Venus, who carries our passions and our love and our desires and, you know, the things that make us feel good. Um, and she's moving through Capricorn and she's going to eventually move into Aquarius next. We're building up to a February that is full of Aquarian energy. We're going to have five and then six planets, um, astrological planets in the sign of Aquarius. And that's going to really give us more context around what's coming up for us in the future. This is that air energy. This is that Aquarian energy that people talk about when they talk about the age of Aquarius. This isn't the age of Aquarius, but we are moving towards it, right? That's 150, 200 years away, but this is the buildup to that, right? So 
this is an important time in, in our personal lives, but also in the scale of, of humans in general. This is an important time, and I don't think that we're really aware of how important this time is, and I don't think we're going to be in our lifetime, quite honestly. I think this is a time in society that we're really shifting things over the last you know, 10 years and on to the next 10 years. This is, this is a big cycle of change. And I talked about that a little bit in the Saturn Jupiter cosmic update, um, that, you know, came out at the end of the year. And you can check that out on my YouTube page, um, the autistic astrologer and kind of hear more about that social shift and, and what that may mean for us, um, you know, as a species. And, so, you know, I've done videos about that, so I don't want to get really into it. But as February comes in, we're really shifting into that energy and we're going to get more context about what's happening and, and where, you know, what it looks like and what we can do and how we can work together and, and get into this more community driven, um, you know, uniqueness and our authentic selves being lifted and being honored um, in new ways. And I feel like that's what's coming over the next year. But, you know, we also have to remember cycles are ending. But if you're in the United States, we still have Pluto and Capricorn. We still have we still have Pluto and Capricorn, and that's going to stay there for another couple years through the United States um, Pluto return. And the United States Pluto return a Pluto return is all about taking what is dead, taking the structures that are decaying, taking the things that have been buried underneath, bringing them to the surface and allowing them to either die and then be rebuilt. So Pluto um, is tied to Scorpio. Scorpio and Pluto are all about the phoenix coming up from the ashes, um, things being created through chaos. And we also have Uranus, which is the sign of chaos, very active with Saturn, the sign of structures and boundaries and politics, law and order, um, all very active over the next two years. And in the United States, we are only beginning um, this shift with Pluto at the end of Capricorn and then, um, you know, finishing up that run with, you know, when the United States was, you know, formed. So it's a cycle that we never see as humans, um, but we have seen it in a lot of structures previously. Um, I have a whole cosmic update planned about uh, Pluto and the United States Pluto return, but this is just kind of me talking about where we are and where we're going. Like it's about tearing down structures. And this is a time as we move into Aquarius, this is a time where, and, and when I say move into Aquarius, I mean, sun is moving into Aquarius um, today. And then we have uh, Venus finishing up in Capricorn and we'll move to Venus or to Aquarius. And then we have Mercury doing that retrograde through Aquarius. So there's just a lot of Aquarius happening in the next couple months. So as we move into that, there's the potential for a lot of anxiety because Aquarius is an air sign. So we're doing a lot of thinking. We're going down rabbit holes. We're, um, you know, wanting to figure things out. We're wanting to connect and work with other people. We're seeing a more um, collective, more community driven, more um, humanitarian view and, and plans for things. But we still don't see all that yet. <laughs> and the more people that come into Aquarius uh, planets, the more, sometimes I'll use people for planets because I tie them to the archetypes. So you'll get used to that. <laughs> um, but we'll have more planets coming into Aquarius. So there's more of that energy coming and more context will be put into place. So when Saturn links up with the sun and then the sun links up to Jupiter and then the sun does a little back and forth with Mercury, those are all pieces of a puzzle that will come into place and you'll be able to see what's playing out and what's coming forward in your personal life 
And remember that these also happen collectively. So how all of this energy is going to fit into your chart, as always, is going to depend on your specific birth chart, how these transits relate to you. If you have any questions, you can find me on social media at MM Healing Services, Mary Moybiel on Facebook. You can also find me at The Autistic Astrologer on Facebook and on YouTube. I will help you as much as I can um, with the energy that I have. You can also schedule sessions or readings for pretty much... Um, anything to do with astrology, tarot, healing services, um, and stuff like that. Uh, I can also help find you free resources and stuff like that. So, um, I know that this is a really hard time and really, I just want to tell you, you're not alone <laughs> and everybody right now is feeling it, um, in one way or another. And if they're not, they're probably just not paying attention to it. They're probably avoiding it. They're probably stuffing their feelings. So, don't look at other people and compare yourself. You never know what's happening inside someone's personal life based on social media, um, you know, based on how they present themselves. Like, you just can't tell. And so this specifically is a time where I've had a lot of clients stepping away from social media and really taking time to sit with themselves and ground into their truth. Because the other thing that's playing out here with all of these planets is finding our authentic truth, finding what is true, right? Because we have all of these programs and things that have been, um, you know, been put on us or presented to us in some sort of way. And now is a time where we're getting new information and we're understanding things differently in our mind. We're finding what our truth is, which can be really hard because, you know, you've lived your whole life thinking something's true. And now you find out that, that something isn't true. Right. And again, this is going to play out depending on your specific chart, but these are all things that are coming up and they're all difficult. You know, Venus is coming through Capricorn and Venus in Capricorn is and, and coming up to Pluto, which is death and decay and, you know, the Phoenix rising from the ashes. So Venus wants a plan here. Venus wants to know that things are going to change. Venus wants to take those old patterns those old relationships, those old goals that were put on us or that we've been stuck in and she's ready to get rid of them and get onto a new plan and a new understanding. Um, you know, she's, she's really focused in Capricorn and really wants to have a plan or see a plan for the future. And that can be frustrating because we don't have one yet. Um, and so, but as she comes through and finishes out, um, in Capricorn and starts to move into Aquarius, she's really going to be asking for us to let go, let go, let go. So those old patterns that continue to come up in your life, um, you know, are really going to be pressurized. And then at the end of January, Chiron, um, connects with Venus and there's a really nice possibility and opportunity for healing here. Um, in the cosmic update that I do, the actual cosmic update that I do for the end of January, I'll talk about the dates. I'll talk about, um, you know, how, how it could play out specifically in your chart. I'll tie it to the natal houses so that you can look it up in your chart and all that stuff. But, um, you know, right now I, I really just wanted to come on here and, <laughs> and say that shit's rough out there and you're not alone. And if you need anything, reach out to me. Um, I'll get back to you with the time and space that I have. Um, I have sessions and stuff available over the weekend and then, um, some more open next week. So if you just need a space to, talk things through to verbally process anything. If you want to talk about your natal chart, if you need guidance on your shadow work, um, there are so many different things that, that I offer. And again, you can, um, message me on any of my social media platforms, or you can email me directly, marymoybl at gmail.com or the autistic astrologer at gmail.com. And we can just figure it out, <laughs> you know, like, um, because times are rough and I want to um, provide any services that I can for you. I want you to know that you're not alone and that you matter and that um, you have a place here in um, this world and you're, you're important and your story matters. And, you know, if I can help in that process at all, please let me know. Um, times are hard out here. So take care of yourself. Try to do your best to take at least a minute or two each day to just touch base with yourself Tell, tell yourself you love yourself. You're doing the best you can. And 
you know, we're going to make it through. So definitely a couple uh, months still left to go in finishing up these cycles and feeling the same energy, but we're going to start feeling it shift. We're going to start to feel um, more context coming up. So we're going to have a better understanding and more clarity, um, you know, but but there's no doubt that that there are activations and triggers happening um, to push us into this next phase, into this next step, into this next piece um, of our personal evolution and our collective evolution as well. So if I can support you at all, please let me know. Again, you can find me on social media at MM Healing Services or at The Autistic Astrologer. And um, I'll touch base with you soon. I appreciate you being here and um, I look forward to connecting with you further.